Uh, roll call. Ms. Pierce? Ms. Shepherds? Mrs. Denano? Present. Ms. Jones? Here. Mr. Holton? Here. Mrs. Burdick? Here. And Chairman Yem? Here. Okay, next thing, approval of minutes, uh, December 8th. There is a change to it, I got, or I have. I'll, uh, I'll make the move there. Election of office, it's a typo, I hope, is under three, page one, number three, election of officers. Under vice chairman, I ask for nomination for vice chairman, not chairman. Yeah, that is just a typo. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You didn't know I read these, huh? Good job. All right. Uh, anybody else have anything? Okay. Motion to approve. I so move. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. And there's another one I don't see. Tammy didn't come in. But the joint commission meeting for Monday, November 30th, I think all of you have that in front of you. So, Tammy, do we have to approve this joint commission? Uh, yes, sir. Minutes? And then we'll text the Marine Commission for okay. them to approve also. Thank you. We're still scheduled for the 26th. Yeah, we'll go through two that. Two weeks for our, maybe the last one with public. Okay. So everybody had a chance to review this? All right, motion to approve. I move that we approve the minutes. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nobody. The. Citizen input. You want to say anything? She's going to speak when we get to members' matters. All right. Uh, just to let you know, Indian River Sports Complex, I will get in touch with them since they were not here in attendance. Okay. I will be in touch. Thank you. Uh, new business, non listed, old business, non listed. Recreation directors matters. Christmas, uh, yeah, go under Christmas drama. I'm going to let Patty talk about both of them. So that's Don't slow, Patty. Right. Now you like that? You see it clearly. Real slick. <laughs> Did anybody get to go to the Christmas drama? Me. Yeah, I went. It's well, very, very okay. good. The feedback we're getting is okay. the best one we've ever done. The kids had a great time. Record crowds. It was a lot of fun. Short, simple, to the point. And we're already working on circus. So it was a really, really successful show. Like I said, tons of kids, tons of audience. And the talent of the kids, especially at the end, the tree. That was amazing. We try to put our thinking caps on, make it a little different, creative every year. So. Thank you for coming, Judy. <laughs> and, and Dick came, too. And Dick, thank you. Um, I get so busy, I don't get to talk to you guys, so thank you for coming. Mother-daughter. Mother-daughter tea party, February 6th. 2 o'clock, Vera Beach Community Center. We're taking registrations now. Um, this year's theme is ballerina. So we're looking for a great turnout for that as well, and we hope you guys can stop by. And then I only have a couple other things uh, real quick. Uh, the Vero Beach Lifeguard Association and that uh, Skateboard Alliance group are going to be presenting to the council about the skateboard park idea. That'll be at next Tuesday's meeting. And in it, the last thing was, and I just, this is hot off the presses, I left you all a uh, year-end recreation report. And you guys can take a look at that. And if we can always talk about that next month if you so so desire or any time you need to talk. That's all I have, sir. Okay. Has the, has the design already been done for Leisure Square for skateboard? No. 
That's no, right now it's just the concept. They're still working on that one. Concept. Mm -hmm. just, just the concept. Yes, sir. They haven't gone to council yet. So. That's correct. They have to go to council and then go from there. Yeah. But did you say that they were scheduled for council? Next Is Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Do you know if that's a morning or an evening? That's an evening, uh, 6 o'clock. Yes. All right, Chairman's Matters. Power plant land. We were planning postal annex property. Uh, Tom Giuliano and I went down and met with the Treasure Coast Regional Planning Council. Uh, what was it Monday the week? No, it was two weeks ago. It was in December. Anyway, we met uh, Mike Bush. It was the or Bouchette. What's it's, I guess it's one of the others. His name. And it was like a two and a half hour meeting, believe it or not, where he explained how the Regional Planning Council operates. And it's, it was very interesting. They gave us these brochures, which are, I think, a brochure that was developed for a project they did in Jensen Beach or somewhere down in that area. It's actually been in operation for what, 25 years or so plus. And it, considering all the other options you can see, if you just go to page three, basically how they operate. And this thing's more like a three month or more a timeline by the time they get involved and do everything. And what we basically picked up from it was we're trying to keep the redundancy down from what somebody like they would do versus what, you know, we're going to uh, send a council. But there'll be more on this. There's a joint meeting on February 9th. Mm -hmm. And... That follows the January 26th meeting, you know, which is the workshop. And the purpose of the joint meeting is to hopefully come together with a summary recommendation to go to council at the end of the month of February. Would that be your thinking? Mr. City Manager. Yes, sir, it does. And uh, I, I agree. I think we've taken a lot of citizen input. But if we do go the route of the Regional Planning Council and use them, you know, they hold public meetings. What they did for the uh, Cultural uh, Arts Council is sort of the same concept that I would anticipate they would follow here uh, for this type of Have you work. seen this? No, I have not. Okay. That explains our whole process. But I think that'll have to come from a recommendation from those folks that are participating in that. But uh, my interaction, and I know you and Tom both talked to me about the meeting with Mike Bush, and I, I agree with you. I'm just not sure you could find anybody better to perform that since we are members. Uh, he can help us locate grants and other type of functions to, to make pull the thing off after we get a plan. Well, plus he's got connections that the other <clears throat> entities don't really have. I think it's what we learned, like working with DOT and things like that. Correct. And, and transportation is a big uh, study element for them in any of their land use, which obviously that intersection does require us to take some real solid look at that because of the 17 bridge and the uh, access going westward and that kind of stuff. So we... I, I, Again, I'm I'm pretty high on the uh, Regional Planning Council for that type of activity and what they can do, and the affordability of it as well, because they really did a good job for the Arts Council, spent a lot of hours, and they were able to recover some of their costs through other mechanisms other than charging the Arts Council, although they did pay for uh, the majority of it. Well, I know there's going to be a discussion when it goes to council which way to go and everything, but I was surprised to find that the Regional Arts Council cannot go be part of an RFP, RFQ. 
That is correct. They're like Golan. Uh, they are a government entity, and the key is if you want to go with that entity, since we are members of that, uh, you have to make that decision up front. If you want to do an RFP and try to find a land use planner, then obviously that is an option that the council would have. Yeah, so that's why I say there's going to be a discussion at council. Yeah. When that's that correct. Comes up. But they obviously would look for a recommendation from the joint task force. Well, there's one other thing. On the meeting of February 9th, they have a PowerPoint presentation that they gave us, which, I don't know, Tammy, have you gotten a copy of it yet? Yeah. Okay. Then it will be probably more time efficient to show both councils at that meeting rather than just bring it into each one. It's probably like a 20-minute you know, PowerPoint that goes. This brochure has some of the steps, yeah. that, but they've changed it. They modified it. And it will be modified because what we're asking them to do is different than what they did for the Arts Council as well. Yeah. It, it is. And the Arts Council obviously didn't have as much transportation issues, but but I agree. And I, I think that is the more efficient way of doing it is if, at the joint meeting, having the presentation made. That's, that's a good plan, in my opinion. Thank you. Any questions? Anybody? Uh, they have a have a date for this so Saturday, and then seven days. No, this is just they do one week of public solicitation, like what we've been doing in the workshops. Mm -hmm. But my understanding, of what they do in the charrettes is, prior to the charrettes, they will collect, like use our suggestions, the chamber suggestions, and everything. Plus, they do interviews with select people if you use that process before they have their shreds, so they have a general idea, you know, design-wise. And they're really functioning, it depends, the, you know, the first step is they will function as a design-type firm. And then you can go beyond that. Uh, like, I don't, you know, the part of the discussion will be whether or not you want to engage them as a project manager down the line once the design is accepted. You know, all of that. It's uh, Mr. O'Connell is going to have a lot of input, I think, as far as the process once you go beyond design. That's correct. We, we don't want to make this a government type of plan. The process will be something we will manage uh, administratively, but the, the fact is, is that we're looking for citizen input in the driving uh, of, this, of the course of that activity. Well, if we go with the planning council's suggestion, you have a host committee, and then you can go to a task force once you start implementing, you know, the whole thing. Right. Well, I know for the um, uh, arts council, when they came around and interviewed, and I, I bet they interviewed 50 people in the community, and then the Surrettes were very good, and they found different locations that would not necessarily be here at City Hall, but uh, they found a hotel that uh, accommodated them, having it in the lobby, and and then having the design set up where people could come and go, make their comments, and and they would be there, you know, five or six hours. People would come in and give their comments, would not necessarily sit be there that whole time. So. Yeah, that's like four consecutive days. Or I think yeah. what they do, and then Friday, Friday they come up with a recommendation. They start on Sunday, and Friday they come back with, if they adhere to that. Yeah, and it really makes it a community activity at that point. So, and that's I think what we're really looking for, in the especially in these three corners and what we have involved. All right, I got a bet with Rob. We're going to be out of here in 13 minutes, but it's 13 minutes right now. So, uh, we talked about future meeting agendas and members matters. <laughs> Okay. Go ahead, sir. That's just not being fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A uh, question. I was at an Under the Oaks meeting last night, and they were talking about doing their planning meeting with you guys at Leisure Square? Yes. So you're doing those there now, not not at the community center? Correct. Lori has been moved, Lori's moved over to Leisure Square, and... We're going to meet over. That's where we're going now for, and we're having all of our groups now start to put in their applications, processing, all that goes through leisure now. Oh. And eventually it's our goal that we're all going to be there too. This is the beginning. And what's going to happen to the community center? It'll still be a rental facility and still be treated as one. 
and um, basically programming everything. Nothing's going to change. If there's a program, we'll have staff out there for it. And if it's just a rental, the renters will have the key just like the Bethel Creek House and River House. We're not doing anything with the community center other than we're going to have some up, upgrades and updates to the inside of that building here beginning in next year. We're doing exterior and a little bit of shades and things like that this year. Next year, we're going towards the inside. Well, is there going to be someone on the property that will, like, if there's something going wrong, that they'll be there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll still have Chuck there. He'll still be based out of there. He'll work out of there because it's a closer proximity to Bethel Creek and River House when he's doing the work there. So is Lori going to be at the front desk at Leisure Square? She's, she's there right now. Her office is at Leisure Square. Not right at the front desk, but there are people there that would be able Little to get point. you right to Lori. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And then you had talked to me um, some time ago about wanting to do another mural project. Yes. And... Um, I asked an art club member and a gallery mate if she would be interested in chairing, and she said she would. So I'd like Carol Macris, if she would please, to come to the podium. This is Rob Slazak, who's in charge of all things recreation department. Okay. Hi. So I'm presenting six ideas for this mural. I'm not sure whether it's on the north or south side of the, the gray building next to the tennis courts. Mm hmm um, mm -hmm. So I'll just hold them up, but then I'm going to pass them around as a group. Uh, the first um, idea is that just one large tree. You need speaks, to show. The, uh, there you go. Speaks oh, to the go. majesty of the old oak trees in the park, which is the, this is what the park is known for. Um, this one is a stylistic painting of trees. Um, I call this one the abstract mosaic style. Um, the trees in the park are more curvy, and I would make it more curvy. I'm not showing you these to copy off of, but um, they're an inspiration. They're a jumping off point from which I would do a color sketch for you um, of the, what I intend to create. Um, this one is called Freeform Flora and Fauna. Just lots of leaves. Maybe some wildlife hiding within the leaves. And it's very curvy and pretty. It'll be pretty. They'll all be pretty. <laughs> um, this one is your traditional Indian River Lagoon scene. Mm. I have experience um, working in many different styles, so any one of these I would feel comfortable with. This one is would be more of an illustrative. Um, I would have to do research on the native birds of the park. So this, they would be really quite large. And maybe we could stick a squirrel in there, just to be fair. <laughs> yeah, there are plenty of them in there. <laughs> yeah. And then my last idea is the most um, conceptual art-wise. It would be a, um, a waterfall rain, rainbow of color. And then sort of flowing out of the water would be flying fish. Cool. How do you feel about that? I think it's great. Uh, I can tell you right now the, the wall that I think it would be best for would be the north wall. That's the one closest to the walking area, the walking track. That's the most visible to the public. I think it would definitely completely change that building. You won't have a lot of people. There aren't people playing against the walls. The walls are played against on the west and east side. The south side has your doors. So I'm thinking the north side is the perfect one for the public and everyone else. And I think that would be fantastic because that building is just a gray yeah. old building that looks like an old beat down jail. Right. Um, I'm also passing around with these um, inspiration photos a magazine article that I wrote for Faux World. And it, it shows a project that I did for a local resident here in Vero Beach. And it also shows my preliminary sketches. So you might be interested in looking at that. I can tell you right now, those are beautiful. All of them are good. And I think they were Well, really anyone who's been over the 17th Street Bridge in the last 
three months has seen Carol's work because just on the east side of the 17th Street Bridge, on the north side of Causeway Boulevard, she did a mural there the of a five boat. pelicans on a boat on the river. Right, with yeah. sandy beach with the Beautiful. boat, and it's absolutely stunning. So I thought she'd be an excellent person to have do this. And she asked a question, which I said, sure, no problem, but I don't know for sure. Um, is there a hydraulic lift, something we can use for the higher elevations? We would be able to, we would talk to our general maintenance services, public works and engineering department, and see if that's something we couldn't work out. Because I know you would need to definitely get on that thing and go up to paint. That ba building is about 20. 24, 25. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I think uh, I've worked on 15 foot scaffolds, but nothing higher than that. Right. And the key would be, you know, a number of things of making sure and ensuring your, of course, your safety and knowing how to handle that. We yeah. would have to work through that. And then, like the mural that we did at um, Bethel Creek House, we'd like to have the wall pressure washed. So oh, yes. We're not, and then, is, will there be an underpainting, undercoat? Um, it depends on which one I choose and how I decide to approach it. I would prefer orange. Yeah. <laughs> I told Carol about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. We're, I think we can work all that out. Okay. Well, so how do you want us to proceed? Do you want us to come back here with actual pictures, or do you want us to just wait and take the actual pictures to council? Uh, well, I think, I think what's most important in how you did it the last time was you you brought the concept to the Recreation Commission, which you now have done. Um, you can certainly pick on two or three of the concepts that you like, just like the last time. And then once you guys are okayed with the idea of the concept, which we are, I think we're fine, and I know Jim's fine. I think, I think the public would really appreciate seeing something besides that wall uh, and something with beauty. Um, I, I, I'm good with it. I think our department's good with it. I think the city manager's good with it. I would just say to the Recreation Commission, if there are two or three that you like, pick them out just like the last time, and then then I would have that taken to okay, the con city council. Right. So my concern is, you know, we, we're doing a lot of meetings right now, but if we stick to our normal schedule, then it would be February 12th or whatever you said, 9th, to before we would be here again. And then we'd have to get on. I just don't want it to shove into summer like it did last year because it was brutal. So well, I'd like yeah. to, you know. Yeah, summer would not be good. Yeah, it's it really was brutal last year. So we'd like to get it started long before the weather heats up again. Well, we know that the ninth is your dual meeting. Okay, so my question is, are they okay to approve the concept today? That's my question. And that's fine. I just want to say I'm working on the agenda as we speak. If you can come up with a recommendation, we can put you on the next agenda, which is next Tuesday at 6 o'clock, if that works for you. Mm -hmm. So how many choices do you want? We'll pick three. I would pick three. Pick yeah. two? I like to make it as simple as possible. One or two? Yeah, but if three, three is the number, that's, that's fine. So which one, what do you guys recommend? What do Give I us recommend? two or three. I love the waterfall. It's so colorful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think three is good. Yeah, but which three? Three. Which, okay. three. which other ones? Oh, which three? You? <laughs> You're asking me? I thought you were going to decide on that. You're the I'm the painter? Well, what are you thinking? <laughs> um, certainly the... The tree, you know. Well, what stands out from a distance? Yeah, this one. Let's well, let her have those back, and she can. Like Bobby picked her favorite. Yeah. <laughs> we know Bobby's. There's one. Hear from what what you all like? I like them all. <laughs> Beautiful work. I I can tell you as a person who's been, who, who frequents that park a lot. I I like the the birds. If people knew what those birds are in there, I think that's really cool. It is really. There cool. are a lot of variety of birds that go through that park. Um, I think Painted bunting. That, that's uh, something for children to learn. Absolutely. As, as well. Absolutely. Thank <laughs> you. 
These are four. Is there a fourth one in there? That's the lagoon. Got a jury We're going trial. with the waterfall, the birds, and the Indian lagoon. River Lagoon. That's a good uh, variety. It is. Yeah. None of the none of them are like the others. So, do you want to hold on to these, Sue? No, you. Nope. No. Make a recommendation. Somebody move well, on. Well, can you come oh, with me to the meeting? Yeah, Tuesday yes. night at seven. No. Six. Six o'clock. Six. Right now, we need a motion for those three. Shouldn't be me. Uh, I move that we accept um, the waterfall, the birds, and the lagoon to recommend to the council for the, is it the racquetball court wall? Is that the yes, the correct. Racquetball The north side wall. racquetball court wall. Yes. I'll second the motion. All right, public comment. Since it's a motion, anybody want to say anything from our big audience? Thank you. Yes, thank you. And if no, you're interested, well, since we didn't there's vote none here, I'm trying to get this done. Uh, all right, we've got a motion. We've had public comment. We've had a second. Everybody in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right, it passes. If you'd like to see Carol's work, she's in the Artist Guild Gallery on 14th Avenue, and you can swing by and take a look at her beautiful paintings. Who will be making the presentation to the council? Carol and I. Excellent. I thought the city manager should. <laughs> One thing I'm not is an art critic. <laughs> <laughs> you're the only one in town. <laughs> then you're associate there, Tammy. Uh, all right. Judy, do you have anything? No, but I did attempt a few weeks ago my first pickleball game, and I enjoyed it better than I did tennis when I played. Is that what happened to your wrist? No, that was an <laughs> accident. <laughs> nice. All right, Greg, you have anything? Um, you want to say anything? No, I'm just I'm agreeing with a lot has been said here, and it's good to see that so early. Bobby? All right, you already had my comments. Meeting's adjourned. 427. Oh.